Giants. They have been great as underdogs this season, Pete. 4-0 straight up as a dog, and they are a dog back in your hometown. They are a dog back in my hometown, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I think this is a weird line. The line smells. It's stinky. It's rotten. It stinks. Which way does it stink? <laughs> the, you have the 2-4 and four team favored over the 5-1 and one team, A. Uh, it so what do you like, think the line should be? It should be pick them. Okay. okay. And so for that reason, I'm taking Jacksonville. I think it's, it's fishy you, to you, huh? If you look at what's given Jacksonville trouble, it's passing games. It's the pass teams that can throw it. Shaq Griffin can't play. The Texans can't really throw it. They didn't give him trouble. They, they scored, what, they scored six, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, they scored any points. I'm talking about the, like last week. Matt Ryan threw for 389 yeah. because they can't cover the pass. They don't rush the passer that well. Well, they are pretty good against the run. And so when you're playing the Giants, you stop the run. You put it on Daniel Jones. Plus, I think there's a natural letdown for the Giants here. They, that's a big game they won last week. They, they shouldn't have won the game. Right. Give them credit for it. They found a way to win it. But I think they let down here. I think Jacksonville wins the game uh, and covers the number. I'll go ahead and take the three points. I, I like the momentum of what Brian Dable and the Giants have done thus far. And you might be right. You know, maybe as far as the matchup between these two teams, it's not a good matchup for what the Giants do well versus what the Jaguars would try to take away. But if you're Daniel Jones and if you're Brian Dable and you're watching what you're seeing, if the Jaguars are struggling in coverage, you might be saying, yeah, we're going to open it up. Like at some point, we're going to have to start throwing the football more. We, we can't rely on Saquon Barkley our entire season. He's already kind of banged up enough as it is at this point. And I also think the Giants defense has been a lot better than I thought they I were agree. going to be. Wink Martindale's done a great job. He's done it. a tremendous job, and you know what he likes to do. Blitz. Especially versus a quarterback like Trevor Lawrence. If he feels like there's an issue with anything he sees out there, he will die up with some blitzes. So uh, I, I like the momentum of the Giants. I don't know if they win this game, but I think they keep it really close within that number. And Trevor Lawrence has never won as a favorite. Hasn't been favored many times, but 0-3 in his career straight up when he has been favored. All right, uh, only one game that these guys do not agree on here in the early window on Fox, and it was that one right there, Giants and Jags. They like the Bengals minus six against the Falcons, Bucks minus ten and a half against the Panthers, and give them those five and a half points in D.C. for Washington against Green Bay. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.